Hi, today we're talking about covalent bonding, but before we can do that, we need to know a few things. First of all, orbital levels are an important thing to know. An orbital level is a three-dimensional space where an electron will more than likely be found. This is just an introductory video, so I won't go into too much detail. That'll be for a later video. Anyways, in the first level, only two electrons can orbit in it. The second and beyond can only fit eight. For the exception of hydrogen, each element wants to follow the octet rule, which means that in the second level or third, depending on how many electrons, the element wants 8 electrons in the level. For example, neon has 10 electrons. The first two go in the first energy level, and then 8 in the second level. 8 plus 2 is obviously 10, which means that we have already used 10 electrons. Neon has 8 electrons in its second energy level, which also happens to be its outermost level. The electrons orbiting in the outermost level are called valence electrons. So neon has 8 valence electrons. Therefore, it follows the octet rule. When an electron is following the octet rule, it is a stable element, meaning it is very difficult to have a chemical reaction with it. Now, if an element is not following the octet rule, it isn't, it isn't a stable element, so essentially, the elements long to be stable. So, how can an element become stable? Chemical bonding, baby. There are several types of bonds, but today we are talking about covalent bonding. This pretty much means the sharing of electrons. So, let's say we have hydrogen. Hydrogen has one electron, so after drawing the element, we can see that it has one valence electron, meaning that it has one electron in its outermost level. This also means that it isn't stable. In order to become stable, it can share an electron from another element. Let's use oxygen. It has eight electrons, so after drawing it out, we can see that it has six valence electrons. What we can do here is have these two elements share their electrons. So oxygen will use hydrogen electrons, and hydrogen will use oxygen electrons. At this point, hydrogen is stable, but oxygen isn't, so we can add another hydrogen to oxygen. Now, oxygen has eight electrons in its outermost shell. In case you didn't see this coming, well then, fun fact, this is a water molecule, H2O. By the way, covalent bonds only work between nonmetals. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.